Hello. In this video, we're going to be talking about circles. Circle questions ask you to use the equations for the circumference of a circle and the area of the circle that are presented at the beginning of every math section. So remember, if you do forget either equation, make sure you look back. And, the, and you'll find those equations at the beginning, uh, along with a handful of other equations. Now, on your approach, the key to all circle questions is finding the radius. So if you're not sure what to do and there's a circle problem, find the radius, and you'd be surprised at how many circle questions can be solved once you know the radius. One other quick point, if a line is drawn from the center of a circle out to the edge of the circle, a tangent line would be perpendicular to that line. So if you're actually looking for um, a, uh, an angle off of the edge of a circle, you can always assume that it's 90 degrees from the radius drawn to that line. Now, let's look at area and circumference. Again, both these equations are dictated by the radius of the circle. The area of a circle is always given in a unit squared, feet squared, inches squared. So keep in mind, you're always going to need to square something. Thus, the equation for the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now, the di uh, circumference of a circle is a distance. It's the distance all the way around the circle. So your answer would be in feet or meters or inches. And so again, you only have one radius in this equation. And so the uh, air, uh, circumference is going to be 2 pi r. These are easy to confuse. And if you do confuse them, make sure you look back at the appropriate equations. So let's look at a few uh, example problems here. This, a, if a circle has a circumference of 10 pi, what is its area? So what we want to do is write 10 pi is equal to 2 pi r. That allows us to solve for the radius as 5. Now it's easy to solve for the area. The area is pi r squared. Inserting radius of 5, that would yield 25 pi. Now this next question has variables in it. And, and it basically is asking us to compare the ratio of the area of one circle to another. So to make this more concrete, let's make these variables numbers. So circle k has a radius twice that of circle h. So let's make circle k's radius 4 and circle h radius 2. And we want to know what the ratio of the area is. Well, circle k would have an uh, area of 4 squared pi, which would be 16 pi. Well, circle h would have an area of 2 squared pi, which would be 4 pi. So the ratio is actually 4 to 1. And that's because we're squaring the radius. So if, if you have a radius is twice as big, your area will be four times as big. Now in the next question, we're looking for the ratio of the circumferences. So let's do the same thing. Assume that circle K has a, uh, a radius half that of circle H in this case. So let's make circle K's radius 2 and circle H radius 4. Now the circumferences are just 2 pi r. So circle K would have a, uh, a circumference of 4 pi, while circle H would have a circumference of 8 pi. So in this case, the ratio is the same as the ratio of the radiuses, which is, in this case, 1 to 2. Now, the hard questions involving circles involve the sector of a circle. Now, they're not terribly difficult if you can understand that there's a ratio involving the angle. And that ratio will dictate how you solve for the area or length of, of a sector of a circle. That ratio is the angle that they give you divided by 360. So in this problem below, we say that the angle is 90 and r is 10. Using the angle as 90, we establish that the ratio is 1 fourth. And what that means is, is that this 90 degree sector represents 1 fourth of the circle's area. Now if we want to solve for the, uh, arc, or the, uh, excuse me, the sector of the circle, we first solve for the area of the circle, which would be pi r squared. In this case, with r is 10, it would make that 100 pi. And then we only need a fourth of that, so we divide by 4, yielding 25 pi. If we want to solve for the arc length of the sector, we do the same thing. We start by solving for the circumference of the circle, which in this case would be 20 pi. And then we divide by 4, yielding a circumference of 5 pi. If you like equations, then you can use this equation, theta over 360 equals arc length over 2 pi r equals area over pi r squared. Again, all this is saying is that the ratio between the sector area and the circle's area is the same as the ratio of the angle sector angle to the 360, the entire angle in the circle. And same thing with the uh, area of the sector. So when you're solving for these, make sure you identify the appropriate ratio between the sector angle and the circle angle, and then go ahead and solve accordingly. All right, hope to see you soon in another one of our math videos.